I got the call at 2.15 in the morning. Within an hour, Red Cross volunteers were on the scene of a multifamily apartment fire that left 130 people without a home. By sunrise, volunteers were opening and staffing a shelter, an operation that went on for two weeks. My life has been very generous to me, and now I can be generous in spirit and with love and kindness to them. I always wanted to do something that would help people, and it's actually paying things forward. So it's very important. It's there before, there but for the grace of God go I. So it's very humanity. <laughs> um, as soon as I heard the news, I've seen um, the needs. Um, we decided to come and provide help any any way. The volunteers here love what they do. They love the people that they work with. They love the clients that they work with. And they're doing this because their heart is telling them to do it. I tried to retire this year, but I found out I couldn't because I'm not sick or anything. So I'm just here. Can we have spoons? Can we have spoons? 17 years ago, I went through the fire with my family. And that kind of opened up my eyes on the bee also a helpful source for others that are needs. And it's very heartwarming to know that, I'm gonna cry, that people come together and um, are able to help those in need. And it's very rewarding. Um, and you actually do get a rapport with the people. So you get to know them and you get to know their needs. And once they do get that apartment, it's a great feeling knowing that they're leaving.